Yeah, he's come back into the field at the moment so he can settle down. Emmanuel Letty is the Spanish rider at the back here on 6 2. Well, there's not certainly uh, the right place to be, is it? especially as we're heading up now to two uh, very important sections of cobblestones. The next section uh, for the uh, main field, we've come through 104 kilometres to go, so about two and a half kilometres away from here. Section uh, at Tabuala, 19 sections of cobblestones to go. It's a long section too to set itself up for the Forest of Arabia because the next section for the peloton will be two and a half kilometres long. Now we've got a crash, we can hear Andre Sadio, it's happening in the peloton, and there it is. And uh, already involved is Greg Van Egel, he's oh, just back. come back there. Yeah. He's got caught by a crash in the back, he looks okay. Here's another few of it. Well, what was happening, the road narrowed there as we went under the railway bridge, uh, but unfortunately the uh, race, the, no, the, the local council have got those bollards there, and I think that created a, a little bit of a wave at the back end of the main field, and a number of rides have gone down to... But Avamata didn't come down in that accident, but he will have been delayed. Now he's going to have a hard time getting back into the peloton because they will be picking up pace at the front end of that group field to go into the next section of cobbles. That's about being pushed off that red was Luca Pauli. He's a very good sprinter and a good reputation in the classics. Now it's chase back time. The boys at the front have just come and the job they're doing is Paulini, I think, uh, as we catch up with the chase. Oh, well, this is Christoph. Oh, this is uh, no, that's it. It is in fact uh, Paul. It is Paul. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's the best way is number on his back. We saw him just getting back on his bike, not panicking as he tries to rejoin. Also, uh, having a, a bit of a problem getting himself back up there is uh, Dominic Clement, the German rider on IAM cycling. Uh, causes a bit of chaos, and uh, again, the look at the, there's another bit of chaos here as well as the uh, organization have tried to do a very good job of keeping the race nice and safe. But this traffic furniture in the north of France uh, makes it very precarious, especially if you sit down towards the back end of the main field. Uh, let's have a look at this again. The riders taking a shortcut over on the right as they look for some smooth road because they're looking for any possibility here to get up to the front end of the peloton because they know the next two sections of cobblestones both are very long but also strategically very important. Now this this thing caused by the earlier